Yo, YouTubers! It's 1808. <laughs> and it's still the 28th. Magic number 1808. It's the 28th. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. The adjust the visor. The sun is like just. Phew, just pick the camera up. Stop being a bell on. Come on. That's the view of me of me veranda. There's the filthy scum below. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. In case anyone complains. That was a joke. The filthy, disgusting plebs below. <laughs> Oh, okay. Right, that's to finish the trilogy off on the veranda. No particular reason. I call the fiend. The old man cardigan. Or the old man cardigan with the big buttons. Those big old fashioned buttons there. <laughs> <laughs> In the old man cardigan. <sighs> okay, let's get on with it. Finish this last beer. The last one I did was the nine hops. Okay, guys, Marks and Spencers. Remember, Marks and Spencers. Um. Bit of impact there. The beer reviewers sample collection Cubase sample pack. Beer reviewers sample pack. <laughs> A little trumpet there. All right, we got Suffolk beer. Beer, beer, Suffolk bitter from Marks and Spencers with the Paul Cook trademark. Get a dog barking. Look. Accident. Coincidence. You talk you talking to me, dog? You listening, dog? The bark. Yeah, he's listening. Paul Cook. Punk dog reaction. Man. None at all. Like, it's all the imagining things again. Alright, man. We've got Suffolk Bitter, and it's actually brewed by Adnams, which is very peculiar because you know the beer I reviewed earlier on from Marks and Spencers reminded me of Adnams Ghost Ship. So, anyway, this is brewed by Adnams Breweries, Southwold Suffolk, especially for Marks and Sparks. Marks and Spencers. Richard! Oh my word, I'm a bit shocked there. I expected to see like 3.8 or something. That's 5.2. That's a bit of This should be the real deal. This should be the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Let's see what it says on the top. It says East Anglian barley and Grassy hops give a full aroma, refreshing taste, and long finish. Long finish, in case you missed that one. So there we go. We thought a bitter. Wow, I, I don't even know when I've reviewed the bitter on my channel. Have I reviewed any bitters? Bitter is the real deal, you know. This is what my dad's drink was. My dad, my, you know, my old man's favourite drink was bitter. In the pub, Tetley's bitter, to be precise. Well, anyway, let's read the back. Got my magnifying glass out. The sun's gone now, it's only behind the clouds, though. I'll show you the view in a minute. It says rows of wooden beach huts with their bright colours and smart stripes 
on a familiar sight along the Suffolk coast, very near to where this beer is brewed. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, yeast, carbon dioxide. About this beer, let's go on, oh man. Star Wars, look. It says about this beer. I'll get copyright on that just for doing that tune. This quintessential English bitter is brewed with sweet, biscuity, East Anglian barley and grassy fuggles and Golding's hops. Wow, I've got some of them. To create an aromatic beer with a refreshing taste and a long distinctive finish. A perfect match for try this traditional bitter with a classic roast like tender sweet lamb with all the trimmings. What's that in corn? What's that corn? Um, well, I'm on. I, I need. A, I, I want a wee. I need. A, I, I need to go to the toilet. <sighs> so anyway, before we do anything, I just wanted to see this. The view. <laughs> Star Wars. See, that's a star, isn't it? Wars. Sorry about this, folks. I really am going to have to interfere with this uh, production and go to, go to the toilet. Hold on. I'm so sorry ladies and gentlemen, I feel like such an amateur. <laughs> it's flipping freezing out here now. Look shades on my head like that. Because I'm in a Costa del Sol. It's bloody freezing. Um, I like this way we were. Right, I read you all the details, it's from Marks and Spencers. And you know what? From the hops, fuggles and goldings, I'm expecting a kind of a um, Bushy's beer experience here. Let's, wait, hopefully, let's see what we can get. Let's see if this is the nearest thing, eh? And it's 5.2%. Steel, uh, what do you call it? Steelberg out. Steelberg shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a spiel the sun's gonna come back out in a minute. So do it, oh look at that. Oh, you gotta see this. You guys you, you Christopher Walk and you gotta go see it in the sunset. Christopher Christopher Walken I wanna see the sunset. Promise me you'll take me back. <laughs> Promise me you'll take me back home. That's absolutely crap. Oh, that's not bad.
Oh, we got some sunlight. Christopher Walken! <laughs> Christopher Walken! Christopher, promise me you won't leave me him! Man! <laughs> okay, we've done all the details, we've come through it all, let's see what we've got. <laughs> Too scared to say, There you go. But I can't tell which is which, you see. I've got two of them now from two different beers, and I don't know which is which, do I? The sun's just coming through, you see. Sun's set over Bidston Hill. Okay, let's get this. It's bitter. Oh, 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 don't, <laughs> don't, I'm outdoors, it's all right, that's the first time, that's happened for a long time, it's like, oh my way, look at that, it's an alarm, the, the police are coming in, everything, it's not like, that like Italian ice cream place or something? What the hell is that? Like, so like, a, uh, like someone on a skateboard with a kazoo? Oh, I thought it was supposed to be a police car. <laughs> Look at the difference in that roasty chestnut dark brown. Ooh. Come here, my lady. Come here. Right, Suffolk better. Finish it off, come on, lad. Let's go. See, that's a real pint of better, that, isn't it? Holy banana, I didn't expect that. Holy banana. Did you see Will Smith watching the Oscars? Fucking banana, it's Will Smith, man. <laughs> Chris Rock mate. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh. Don't you mention my motherfucking wife! <laughs> That's why it's best to be a bachelor mate, I tell you. Alright. Just look at that. That looks like a pint of bitter in a pub, doesn't it? Pulled by a Box some barmaid. It looks all right, and it, oh, it's a lovely golden, lovely colour to it. To be honest, like look at the sunset through it. That's very nice. Okay, Marks and Spencers. Let's see what you got. It's Adnams, though, isn't it? It's actually Adnams Brewery. Done especially for Marks and Spencers. We've got a jet taken off. The aroma is just what you'd expect in a pub. Like a lovely, fresh, pubby pub pint. Look at the jet flying up there. Like just people going on holiday. Up hell they are. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. You got me. Oh, that's a better. Now, now you got me. Now you got me. It's a better. It's a lovely better. I'm just um, I'm getting it. You got me.
You got me? I'm talking madness here, man. But what I really mean is, is that my recent brew, my latest brew beer called Boango, I use the same hops that are in this, Golding and Fuggles. Goldings and Fuggle hops. And that was recommended to me by the person in the Isle of Man who works for Bushy's Brewery. And I wanted to know what hops they use, you see. And I use these hops, and I'm going full circle with these hops now. It's the sunset. I'm looking at the sunset. It's lovely golden sun. Is it real? I don't know. Is that the real sun? Is that a, a lens? A, a bulb? Who knows? But looking at it over Bidston Hill. Drinking a pint of bitter. I like that. It's so different. It's so bitter. You know what I mean? It's so bitter. It's so bitter. It's not all the fun flavours, all the mad stuff that's going on today, and it. In today's drinking environment, it's a pint of better. It looks lovely. It's got gold, like ooh, rose gold color looking through through the star. Looking out through there, I can see the sun setting. And uh, do you want to see what I'm looking at? And you see them. Um, Bidston Hill windmill, okay? Let's go. There you go, you see? There's my chair there, right there. And that's what I'm looking at, right there. Okay. Just want to get in front of this wire. Okay. And there's Bidston Hill. This bit's in the windmill. And that's what I'm looking at. The camera can't handle it. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that. That's what I'm look that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the sunset over Bidston Hill. It just looks great. Because I'm already intoxicated by the first two drinks, I, I, I'm not too sure about what, what's going on, but look at that. I've been looking for a nice bitter, you know, and that's it. I've got hiccups as well. Oh, 
No. Hiccups. Mm. That's nice. Okay. Discovered that today by accident. Didn't even know it existed. I just found on that like me heat seekers. <laughs> Honed in on it like. And that's brilliant. It's a real old school bit. You see Marks and Sparks aim at the older people coming here. You know Marks and Spencers. They get the 70s and over and now <laughs> like. Because that's a fine bit. Uh, Alright, uh, that's definitely a 10. That's a 10, it's a lovely drink. Bro. I'm carrying on, getting in the warmth. Let's show you a bit more sunset before we get off. Go Pelio. 10 out of 10, thanks for watching. It's Adnams, by the way. Adnams beer.